What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Welcome back into the mining room. So you saw the title, today we are talking about CPU mining. If you saw my video a couple of videos ago, we were, uh, we were selling some of our GPUs, our old AI rigs, those GPUs that we bought, they weren't really doing much, right? They were making no money. So we've sold almost all of them now. And we've got all these leftover rigs. So let me turn you around and uh, we'll start telling you what the plan with all of this stuff is. So as we can see, we've got a number of different rigs offline. That's a 4060 Ti. We're gonna keep that because we need display to check all of these, uh, these different BIOS settings. But we've got over here a 5950X with 64 gigs of RAM. We've got a 5900X also with 64 gigabytes of RAM. And we've got another 5900X up here. Now, we will also have, when this uh, Epic board comes and we start getting those two 5090s onto the one board, we'll have a 7950X board here. And also one more down here from the 3090 now. These 7950X boards both have got uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM, so they will stay. But this 5950X rig, it doesn't need 64 gigabytes of RAM, and neither do the 5900Xs. I'm not 100% sure if it's even worth having these online, but we'll get that figured out in a second. So to start, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get them all turned on so we can get a bit of a baseline. In this cupboard right behind me, I've got a bunch of different uh, sticks of RAM. So from my understanding, 32 gigabytes when it comes to CPU mining will max out all of the hash rate we can get as long as all of the uh, RAM slots are worked out. So let's jump on over to the computer. I'll get these turned on. Let's get a baseline and then we'll make the next plan. All right, so three of these four rigs have come online. This one uh, 5900X rig with the 4060 Ti did not. Now I presume that's because I haven't turned on ignore VGA. So what that basically means is if uh, you plug it in and it doesn't have a graphics card in it, it may not boot up. And I believe that's what's happening here. We're not gonna find out for now. I kinda like the fact that we have three different uh, CPUs here that we can test and see if any of them are actually profitable. So hash rate. As far as hash rate is concerned, we've chucked them all on random X here. We might go over to our cubic as well. I'm not too sure. Let me know down in the comments what you want me to mine. Um, and we might even do a giveaway or something like that. I'll leave some uh, details in a pinned comment. We'll give away a bit of hash rate for this video. So just under 17 kilo hash for the 7945HX. Pretty reasonable, not the best, could get more, but I'm fairly sure I've already done undervolts on this one. And temperatures, 62 Celsius, so that's looking really good there. We're happy with that. The 5900X, not looking so good, 9.75. I think I've just enabled eco mode on this instead of uh, you know XMP on the RAM and undervolting. Might try that. And uh, this 5950X actually has the temp on this, 52 Celsius, so really, really cool. So we can probably get a little bit more power out of that, or maybe just some more efficiency power per hash rate. 5950X, just under 12 kilo hash, I believe, if I do a refresh. So not looking ideal either. That should be getting a fair bit more, and it's running fairly hot. So we'll jump on over in a sec and, uh, and do some undervolting and have a look at what's going on. And the motherboard, I probably will leave this 7945HX just because I did a video recently where I copied the exact same settings that I had previously. And I think this was about as far as I could push it. But don't quote me on that. I may have a look at a few details. So next up, let's look at what actual power draw these are using so we can get a baseline for both. Then we'll apply some tweaks and check back in. All right, so power draw. Let's start with this. Uh, this is the 5900X that's actually running. Let's see if... The Pages. There we go. Yep. 124, 125 watts. So this is definitely uh, too high. This should be running at like 90 to 100 um, from previous memory. So definitely going to have to do some uh, some tweaking on that one. If we move on down here, let's look at the... Uh, wait, it wasn't that one, was it? No, definitely not. If we look at this 7945HX rig, 
So that's using 98 watts, which is perfect, right? That's exactly what we want it to be using. So I think that one's pretty good. We might just mess a little bit with the RAM timings to help it a little bit. Often that helps. And then the 5950X, using about 117 watts. So look, that's not terrible for what, oh, it's jumping down now to 82 watts. So we'll see exactly what's going on there. What does the hash rate align with at the moment? down to 11.68 and up to 251. So there's definitely something going on here with the 5950X. So let's start with this board here. Let's jump in the mining room and get it sorted out. All right, so we've got this 5950X board plugged in. I have taken out two sticks of the RAM as well. Uh, so it's got 32 gigabytes. So we're in here now. And the first thing I notice is uh, we've got precision boost overdrive on. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click that, scroll up here, turn that to auto. And we're going to go down here and we're going to adjust the voltage core. So hopefully I can do this. Double click. Why is it not working? Give me a sec. Let me press enter. Scroll back down here and let's start at say, let's just go 1.05. And see how that goes so we'll uh, we'll get this saved we'll boot up in and then we'll get another baseline test for this board so we've got the 5950x back on around about the same killer hash it was jumping up to about 16 but i noticed that the uh the power draw has not gotten any better in fact it's using maximum power pretty much this is very very strange unless i've got somehow see 161 it's just completely jumping up and down which is very unusual but previously i've uh, i've been able to get this locked at about 130 watts for about 14 kilo hash so i did also enable uh the ppt limits again as well as the core undervolt so very confused as to what's happening here so let me know down in the comments guys if there's any other settings that are missing it has been a minute since i've uh, done cpu tweaking on this 5950x but in the past it was as simple as enable xmp undervolt and you're away so let me know down in the comments guys if you've got any other suggestions for me so what we're going to do now is jump back on into the mining room have a look at the 5900x and see if there's anything we can do there to get a little bit more hash rate and a little bit more power. I think it's using about 124 watts. So let's jump on back in there. And uh, there you go, it's showing up on the screen now and uh, and see what we can do with that one. All right, so 5900X in, we've abandoned this thing for now, the 5950X. But when I came on in here, there was literally nothing enabled except XMP. So We've, uh, we've gone the, uh, the core override, so we're going to go with one volt here, um, see what that does. I've also taken out a stick of RAM. Um, I don't know about putting the eco mode on yet. Uh, in fact, let's just do that as well. Let's just put the eco mode on, as well as the core undervolt, and, uh, and see what this gets. Well, 45 watts, it's going to be using like no power. Let's just try this one out jump back to the computer and see exactly what readings we get okay so 5900x is uh is now up and running so with the eco mode set and the undervolt set it's getting more hash rate which is great but somehow oh it's just kicked down it's uh it's at 140 watts somehow as you can see here so I, this just makes absolutely no sense to me here guys um Someone let me know in the comments what I'm missing here. So we've got, uh, you know, we've got XMP enabled. Uh, we've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. We've also got eco mode enabled and a core undervolt enabled. And these are both using significantly less, uh, more power than they should. So this has gone up by about, you know, 15%, up about 20 watts or so, which, which I just don't get at all. This, uh, 5950x well it's down at about 140 now but i presume the hash rate is low as well so is this just this miner that we're using the zephyr miner i'm really not too sure i've got the latest uh xm rig new maybe something's going on there so all in all everything except the uh 7945 hx is giving me some real issues right now so 
I might have a little bit more of a fiddle around with these, but I'm thinking I might just wait for a bit of uh, the expert advice from you guys, because like I said, I'm not completely sure what's going on here. I'm sure it's something very simple. So let me know down in the comments and, uh, and we'll see what we can work out. So we're over here on hashrate.no and I just wanted to get a baseline of, uh, you know, expected power draws and things like that. Just, you know, for my own sanity. Now, I know on, uh, you know, on XMR, I've never seen a 5900X get 16 kilo hash at 105 watts. So that's not possible, but should definitely be getting a lot less power draw. So like I said, I'm like 40% above that somehow with undervolts and an eco mode. So not sure what's going on there. 12 kilo hash, 13, 14 kilo hash is sort of the max I've ever seen on a 5900X undervolted. You know, the 5950X around 16 or so at, you know, the 130, 140 even 150 watt range I've seen. So I'm not going crazy. My numbers are definitely, definitely way off. In fact, let's just jump back real quickly. And, you know, so this 5070 Ti is down to about 134 watts, but the hash rate just seems to be jumping around like crazy. Uh, sorry, the power draw. Like this is down now to 57 watts. So I think there's something else going on. Really not a 100% not sure here. Now, when looking at the calculators, even my um, 7945HX, which was getting around 17 kilo hash at 100 watts, now at my electric rate, it's making five cents. You know, so let's if we look at the numbers on say this 5900X, you know, you're basically losing. You know, so uh, uh, let's get rid of the Zephyr. You know, you're losing 50 cents a day there, so completely pointless. I went with XMR because it is more profitable. You know, uh, nice hash random X isn't profitable either. So maybe we'll try out cubic. Uh, maybe we won't, but uh, definitely not as simple or as easy. These are not the results I was expecting. So any advice would be much appreciated. So that's where we're going to wrap up, guys. Look, I'm not going to invest hours and hours and hours into tweaking these things right now to make a few different cents. Uh, you know, try and make 10 cents off a rig by undervolting it for hours. Like I've said many times, let me know down in the comments what I'm doing wrong here. And let me know if there's anything sneaky I could mine that's actually making profit. I may just get these undervolted properly at some stage and run them off the solar because right now, even in the CPU mining world, even with that 7945HX, which is the most efficient CPU you can get, sort of user end CPU, still making five cents. So is it worth it? Not too sure. Let me know down in the comments, guys. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks again for watching. Sorry this wasn't what you were expecting, but them's the break sometimes. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.